Hi you guys, um, I am home knitting a new pattern design today so um, I thought that maybe I could just kind of do a little mini vlog about it in case that was of interest to anyone. <laughs> Probably not. Um, so I thought maybe I could just talk you through it, show you what I'm working on uh, and then we'll see if I remember to keep videoing it. <laughs> So um, basically, I'm working on a new cardigan. I want it to be similar to the existing one because that's a really good, it's our, one of our most popular kits. I think that it works well because it's oversized, so it's easy to throw on. Um, it's also a really simple knit, so it's a good beginner's pattern, which I think is really important because I love getting people addicted. Um, so I want it to be equally as kind of wearable um just as oversized um although actually we are going we're doing instead of having it as just all one size like the big cardigan we're doing it as two different sizes um but it's still going to be quite chunky and oversized um and it's going to be shorter and then we're going to add pockets as well so um i'm using lilac um i think the thing about the cardies is that they're really good spring summer wears um as well as autumn winter so it's really nice to like have something easy and big and cozy to just throw on of an evening so like I always think like when you've had a barbecue <laughs> I don't know why I don't have that many barbecues um but on the like two we have a year I'm like a big knit would be great <laughs> so that's what I design all of my products for so it's kind of like yeah, summer evening when you've been like wearing your nice summer dresses and then it starts to get chilly so you just want to grab something big to throw on, that is what this is for. Um, it's just not quite so oversized so you can also wear it with loads of like good outfits, good jean outfits as well. So yeah, I'm doing lilac. Um, so far I've just knit the back um, and I'm about to start on the... Um, one of the front panels. I'm not sure if we're gonna have, I might put buttons on it, or maybe just one, I don't know. So I'm gonna work on the pat on the um, the side that would we will attach buttons to if we do that, rather than the side with buttonholes, because then I've got just a little bit longer to kind of make a decision. So I'm gonna do, I've done back panel, then I'll do the front panel where we'll attach the buttons and then I'll do the sleeves so that I can really put that decision off for longer. Maybe I'll do like an Instagram poll or something about the buttons and see what see what everybody wants. So yeah, um, I'll show you the, uh, the back panel now and then I'll try to remember to keep videoing little updates for you. So I'm just on the, um, on the sofa today watching Game of Thrones. Um, so yeah, this is the back panel. It's quite a lot shorter as you can see. Um, I'll try and I'll try and when I've got it to a stage where I can put it on, I'll uh, stick it on so you can see the lengths of it. I mean, it's looking a bit uninspiring at the moment, isn't it? Except for the amazing colour. So there's not much to see yet, but hopefully, bear with me and I'll show you some more soon. <laughs> okay, so I've knit the first panel that I'm going to stitch um, the buttons to. Um, I think I might have gone a little bit wrong there. <laughs> I'll ignore it. Um, yeah, so this is my front panel, uh, and then I'm going to stitch them up. My tension, since I broke my arm, my tension's not quite as neat, so you can see the kind of little bits where it looks a little bit messy, but I might block it when it's finished, um, and that should kind of neaten it up a bit. So next, I'm going to stitch the tops together. I would normally knit all of the panels before I start stitching it together but because it's a work in progress I'm going to stitch um, the these bits, the shoulders together um, so that then I can see how long I want the sleeve to be. So I will check back in once I've done the, the sewing. Hello team, um, the buttons arrived this morning so I wanted to show you um, and I'm still here knitting and still watching Game of Thrones. <laughs> um, honestly, I've got the best job in the world. Um, so, a few, I ordered a few different styles to see. I thought I would like more neutral ones, um, but I think I'm going to choose the darker ones, but, well, let me show you, let me show you <laughs> instead of waffling on. 
So I ordered two different colours. I went for these kind of lighter, more natural ones where you can see the grain. And then um, some darker ones as well. I thought that I preferred the more natural ones. But, um, I don't know. Maybe it's just on this cardigan. But actually, I'm not so sure. Uh, when you kind of lay them out, I think that the darker ones look a bit better. So I think I'm going to go with the dark ones and I think I might offer both options because obviously it will depend on the colour of your yarn as to which of the buttons look nicest. So then you can, you can pick your favourites basically. But for now, I reckon that's what I'm going to go with. Three of those. The other thing that's happened with the buttons is that they're a lot smaller than I originally had in mind um, because I couldn't find any that I really liked that were a lot bigger. Um, they only had toggles and I wanted a round button. So um, I'm struggling a little bit with the buttonhole and it sounds a bit weird but I think I might just miss the buttonhole altogether because when you add one it's just a bit too big or too messy and that's that's the trouble with the chunky knit is that when something's a bit mess you really see it because the stitches are so big so I think that the best size might actually be to just not put a buttonhole in at all but it, it feels like a cop out but I think it's honestly the best way to do it and then it can also be optional whether whether or not you want to add the buttons that way. So I think it might work for the best, but I'm gonna have another play around um, and I've just started knitting my last panel. So it'll all come together soon. So I had planned on showing you progress um, when I started like stitching the cardigan together, but I got so carried away last night. <laughs> I just finished it. I love it so much. Um, let me show you. So I ended up, I just did like a little pocket here. Um, I didn't have enough yarn to do a second pocket, uh, but I will, I'll just pop the like po pocket pattern on. <laughs> um, and then if you want to add more, then you can do if you've got more yarn left over. I think that the um, kind of medium to large size would easily have enough yarn left. Um, so I was quite wasteful with my yarn as well, actually. So. Um, I think even the small could have enough yarn left. Um, and then I stitched these little buttons on. Um, you can easily, it depends on where you want to do them up really, but they are so easy to push through, um, especially when you've got two hands. Um, oh my God, I love it. It's still oversized because that's how we roll, but um, it's just, it's just so easy to wear. I'm gonna wear it all weekend. I need to try and take pictures before I like drop tea down it and things. <gasps> what do you think? Oh god, my belly's rumbling. 